Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to demo the new tabular editor 3 DAX debugger function. So I have some DAX that doesn't give the expected results and I'm gonna show you how to use the, uh, the DAX uh, uh, debugger function in order to figure out the cause and solve it. So stay tuned. So I have this very basic data model and I wanna start off by adding a few measures to this data model. So I'm gonna head over to tabular editor and in the measures table, start adding a few measures. So I'm gonna create a measure. So starting off by a total sales measure, which I want to go over the entire sales table. So I wanna add sumix over the fact sales and for every sales record, make sure that I take the quantity and multiply that by the unit price. So that's my first measure that I want to add. So going back to Power BI, I add a card, take the measure that I just created, and here you go, this is my total sales. So next, I want to, want to compute the average sales per client. So I'm going to take a, create a new measure, average sales client. So what I'm going to do then is say average X, I want to go by all of my clients and for every client determine its total sales and enter this. So control A, control A, save it back to Power BI. Give this another try, control A. There it is. So I add another card, average sales 12.6K. So this is total, this is average per client. So let me see the amount of clients that we have. Dim clients, client name. So this is about right. So next thing that we wanna do is count the amount of clients that bought more than average clients. So I'm gonna say create a new measure. Uh, higher, the amount of higher than average clients. So that mean, this means that we wanna count the rows of a filter table and we want to filter the dim clients table the dim clients table and just only filter out the clients for which their total sales was more than the average sales per client okay more than so this should give me the, that, that, the, 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 the count, the count of clients that bought more than average. Okay, so let's hit Control S, go back here, and now add a new uh, card. There we go. I get a blank. I get a blank for whatever reason. So let me also apply this measure here to a table that holds all of my clients higher than average, and then indeed it, I, I don't get anything returned, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting the number of clients and here to actually have them filtered down. So let me make sure that I use the show items in no data option. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm under the view menu, I'm going to go into the performance analyzer and start recording. So let me refresh, because I wanna take the query for this visual here. Take this back to uh, to tabular editor. Under window, go to, ooh, not to help, but to new. And I wanna enter a DAX query. Right? The DAX query that I just copy pasted. So I'm gonna hit F5, and now I'm gonna see the, uh, the, the, the result. So this here are all values that are empty. And for instance, for Apple, I was expecting to actually see uh, some kind of value here. So let me go ahead, right mouse click and hit debug. Now we get here these windows. So here we get to see the evaluation context in which the evaluation got done. And for now, I wanna use this watch window here to see what's going on if I start bug debugging this entire measure. As you can see, this, this measure here, as we just created it, depends upon a few other measures. So I wanna start off by the very first one and see the results of this measure in this same filter context. So I hit watch this expression, here we go. So we get to see a number. So this part of the measure still produces a result. This result, 22,500, okay? 
So what we can do here is say also, I want to see this in an empty filter context. Then we get that seed is total. So this number we recognize right here in uh, Power BI. This is the number in an empty filter context. So we actually managed to get this, this number here, both in the context in which we just selected it. Let me make sure that I have both open at the same time. Right, so the context here in which a filter got applied on Apple coming out of that summarized columns uh, uh, formula. So this, is, this has been created below the hood. Every time you run any visual in Power BI, it's always going to be supported by a DAX query. And this query here uh, uses the summarized columns formula. But that is the, the, the formula that the filter context is coming out of. Okay, so this is here we can tell that uh, for this for this part, the, just the sum x, we get a result of 22,500 in the filter context and a total in a blank. So this still seems right. Okay, this still seems, so let's go to the next part of this formula and again say watch this expression. And this is here, this is a little strange, right? Because this is the average x. So now in the filter context, filter down to just apple, I get this result. I wasn't expecting this result. I was expecting the 1260. So what's going on? Well, there's a filter on Apple applied. There's a filter on Apple applied. Because if I look at the total, if I receive this value here in an empty filter context, I have if I have this calculated in an empty filter context, I get the expected result, the average of all of my clients. So that is the issue here. I figured out that the this part of the formula here is evaluated within a filter context on the uh, on any particular client. And so we, we don't want to have this filter here respected. We want to have this filter here ignored on the client. So in order to do that, we need to go into this measure, let's go into the expression editor, and just make sure that we state here that we want to have the average X of all of the clients, not just the one currently in the filter context. So let me control as that, and then go back to the query. There you go. Now it's giving me the correct results. So I can take this now back to Power BI, I saved it. Here we go. Now I'm getting the correct results. So this makes it far easier than uh, the ways we had to do this before. If you wanted to de debug before this feature came around, you really had to use variables and it took far more effort and far more time in order to debug one of your measures. This makes life a lot easier. So I just wanted to give you this demo. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.